alligators. All right. That was an alligator, right? Yeah. Not a crocodile? Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> alligators got a lot of energy. A lot of energy. Especially if your name's Darth Gator. He probably already had a reputation. <sighs> alligators got a lot of energy because in Texas, when you have a legal license and you got to go take care of these pests, let's say it's too many of them, mm-hmm. right? The way you trap them and, and you know, fish for them because you're not really hunting them, they, they put like a... Uh, Almost picture like a big ass piece of PVC with uh with like a hook with some bait, like chicken, right? So the taller the the pole, the bigger gator you have to get, you're able to get because only the bigger gators can jump and reach, mm. right? So if you got a medium size uh rig, you're gonna get a medium gator and so on. So the process is you set it up with the bait, right? I trust me, hey man, I, I'm handy, okay. I'm outdoorsy. I'm what you call an old school masculine hombre. I'm a bad hombre. So I know about this shit. Don't worry about my boot collection and how all that ties in. But belts are expensive. And let me just tell you why alligators have a lot of energy. So the first step is on day one is you, you, uh, you set the trap. You let the gator <clears throat> chomp down on the raw chicken. Now the hook is somewhere in the esophagus of some sort because now I tried to swallow it the chicken with the hook now he's now he's stuck right now he might be hanging with it he might be dangling somehow some way he's trapped now he's using the next 24 hours or so of his energy just trying to wrestle with this contraption the apparatus got him so now they they rest that's how much energy they have bro they're able to wrestle for a whole day day two you go back check your traps in hopes that the gator is now tired. Now, you're able to get up on it somehow, some way, and there's a little spot up here in the little forehead area region. It's, it's about the size of a quarter, Rob. It's not a silver dollar, no shit like that. So you got to have some good-ass aim. Get up on it with the rifle. Boop, bop, cap, cap, right there in that little area. Like right? a blowhole? Boop, bop. It's a little soft spot they have. That's how you get the job done in a humane, legal way. Don't have PETA. Don't have the Texas wildlife people on my fucking page talking shit, trying to deplatform me. So my point is, gators have a lot of, uh, uh, um, they're very um, efficient with their energy, right? Because they're cold-blooded animals. They're opportunistic hunters. When you're out there and you see them in the wild, there's not a big chance of them running up on you, trying to chase you. They're the kind to just chill on the um what's the word in the water or on the little um come see that way the little this um the the muddy murky kind of the uh what? it's not the beach not the, no the shore the, yes yeah it's more of a shore so they're opportunistic they're cold-blooded they're just trying to get some sun and they're just waiting they're waiting they just wait for a stupid little deer, uh, a dumbass tourist <laughs> or a stupid little dog that you leave too close a little puppy yeah, you saw that clip yep. too. So they're opportunistic. They just sit there and wait for a seagull, a, a pigeon, a rabbit, a, a person. You know what's going under uh, reported with this story? What happened? Is that his name is Darth Gator, right? Correct. You pointed that out. I missed that the first time I watched this clip. Darth Vader took off Luke Skywalker's hand. This alligator oh. has done it before. Oh. This gator likes hands, just like Darth Vader Bro. liked hands. The name fits. It's done this before. They knew. They knew that would happen. Bro, this is a cover-up, bro. And they sent that little girl, young girl in there to feed it, whatever the hell was feeding it. This is like the Governor Cuomo of reptiles. Bro. They knew. It was a cover-up. This is like the Fauci emails all over again, y'all. He's an Italian gator. They knew. He likes it's to get cover touchy up. and handy. It gets frisky. It gets grabby. And I don't know how old this young lady was. I don't know how much she liked her job. I don't know how much they were paying her. Um, I don't know why she didn't have some type of feeding device. Like, you need an apparatus. Like, don't get up on the gator named Darth. Don't <laughs> stick your hand up in there. You need a, like, like, like Homeboy said, I thought we were just going to throw some shit over. But I bet she's one of those people like, did you watch Tiger King? Yes. Did you see the lady that got her hand taken off by a tiger? That's where my mind was going. Exa- this is exactly that kind of person. And then that person went back to work with the tigers. You think I'd ever get around one of those animals that well, took my arm off? Well, they did have a charismatic leader over there with the, with the tigers. You're absolutely right. I don't know right. if there's a gator king equivalent. 
It was probably Doc Antle from from Tiger King. Who was that? The guy that was riding on the elephants. Oh. Because <laughs> he was in Florida. So here's my question. What type of paper did she sign to where she can't sue? Hmm. It's a good question. And are they going to put this gator to sleep? Absolutely not. You know, he's got to take off more hands. That's make the more money maker. Headlines. Yeah. That's the money, money maker. maker. Follow the bag. Follow the money, y'all. See? Y'all be thinking I'm just, you know what I mean? Y'all think we crazy over here. Makes but, sense. Um, you know, there's a narrative, too. There's a narrative, too, because a lot of people don't know how this gator identifies. <laughs> they don't know what kind of, like, background, um, how the upbringing, you know? Is it from a certain south side area? Did he get abandoned? A, a certain lake? Maybe he's from the south side of the lake. Doesn't have a gator dad? Is Maybe it was not a nuclear family involved, right? It hits home. Maybe mean, somehow, some way, Trump has something to do with this. <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't let it go, could you? <laughs> Sorry, y'all. This is supposed to be not political. 15 minutes. All roads lead back to Papi Trump. 15 minutes. Uh, sorry, that's my limit. All roads go back. Um, a lot of questions. And, and it's, it, 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 when you analyze it from the perspective of it's a piece without a lot of context, edited, mm-hmm. put together mm-hmm. um, by a news network, it makes you... I'm just like I'm skeptical of the media, bro. Now I look at it and I'm like, but you know what? I'm surprised they left that much in there. They left the entire her getting chomped on, mm. rolled by the yeah, gator. That roll was sick, bro. The guy sinking the the arm in there, yeah. choking it out yeah. a little bit, and then jumping out. They left it all in there, bro. What if that? That's an alpha mob. It's 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 puro vato alpha. That's yeah. That's straight up like, one of Theo Hoover's friends. What if he'd have got the full, the little full Nelson on it? It pro- Dude, what if the little gator would have tapped out? Well, that, well, well. I mean, that's going too far. But, yeah. but what if, what if his jujitsu would have worked, bro, on the gator? It kind of did. It, 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 it did something to the gator because it stopped moving. Yeah. What if he actually did kind of like, bro? Kinda, did you just fucking choke out a gator? He slept him. In 2021, I'm surprised this man don't get, end up getting sued. Well, he kind of saved somebody's gator life. Gator lives matter. <laughs> I was going to say it, but I didn't. <laughs> Cut that out. <laughs> China would not like that. Um, would you, have you ever taken your kids to a petting zoo? I thought he was going to say if I ever did jujitsu. <laughs> and I was going to tell you, matter of fact, me and Tim Kennedy trying to go to uh, Afghanistan, we got the coordinates. He got all five classes under his belt. You know what I'm talking about? I went, about to about, I went to about seven beginner classes. Have I taken my kids to a petting zoo? I took my 13-year-old to a uh, petting zoo in, in uh, L.A. in um pasadena in pasadena california when she was real little um she might have been maybe three or four it's the you're probably like three and a half four um did you feel any kind of certain way oh was she five um no it was it was it was low key it was like at most at most you had like a non-poisonous snake or something that kids could like ew you know what i mean there's something about, yeah, I know what you mean. That's, that's fine, right? But like, even sometimes goats and, and a little bit bigger animals, they get a little crazy. You, they shit you, on you. you. Well, they definitely shit on you. But they might just, you know, they might just... A little hoof. They okay. usually like, I level to a five-year-old too, you know? Just boom, right in the head. Yeah. We don't need CTE at that age. They're, they're correct. I took, um, actually, we all went to a pumpkin patch um, in Brookshire, mm-hmm. I believe, which is a genius uh, fucking business idea because you own some land and you're like, fuck it. I'm going to make money off this shit. You put some haystacks, photo op. You get one of your nephews to ride around in a little tractor with a, with a, a hay, hay and carriage. Yeah. Yeah. And you give them a little ride and shit. And then you hire a petting zoo person to bring their little shitty little uh, <laughs> sheep or whatever. Lamb. I don't know what, what kind of animal. The little, the little rabbit poop. Anyway, I don't know what you're talking. Lamb, uh, what sheep, kind of rabbit little, poop. Uh, I guess it's a goat. That's okay. what it was. Yeah, a little little baby Billy goat because they got the little chivo right here. The little vato loco ese <laughs> chin hair. Uh, you set up a bouncy and boom, you got you a booming business and you charge for parking and you have some concessions and and rent to a couple food trucks and you're in business. So yeah, we did do that particular petting zoo, and um, yeah, they'll shit on you. He has like Dewberry Farms or some shit. We've been to that one as well. But no, this is this is a different one. Okay. But Dewberry Farms is dope. Yeah. Yeah. It, you know, maybe you should, whenever you get your compound, you know, you can break off a little piece. You know, starts a little you know, business. When we get Chingo Estates happening. <laughs> Chingo Estates. Chingo Estates, or whatever we're gonna call it, Herrera Estates, something. One RPT short at a time. Yeah. Real talk. 
<laughs> but uh, yeah, um, so many questions, so many questions, so many things about alligators, like what's going to happen, what's up with her hand. I need to see a picture of her hand. Does she have an Instagram? We might actually have to do a follow-up. Does and she see. have a hand page on OnlyFans? I'm going to look for it now. How mangled? I'm gonna, I have to look for it. I have to see what it looked like. What was going through her mind? Like the description she, was like she was mauled and bleeding, but decided to help the man out. And she stayed pretty calm. She did. I'm starting to think this shit was part of the show. Like Darth Gator's <laughs> in on it. Like, all right, bitch, you went kind of hard last time, Darth. <laughs> um, crazy. Like, what was going through her mind, bro? Can she you was calm as fuck. Yeah. Because she rolled with it, too. She rolled with the... Because, you know, the Gator On purpose? Yeah, of course. Otherwise, it's going to rip your arm off. Oh, yeah. Just like that one gator that like, ripped, oh, the, it ripped the other gator's arm. You seen that video? A gator ripped another gator's yep. arm off? They were throwing food in there, right? And it got too close to one of the other gator's arms, and another gator chomped on it and, and then, then spun. rolled and ripped it all off completely. <sighs> how, did they, how did God create the gator's... <laughs> To, to like th think about it though bro like whether you believe in uh, creation or evolution either way or if you believe in simulation how does that get programmed into their dna bro think about it because all that shit is built in that's all instinctive like all gators roll i mean it's not a stereotype no longer it's no longer a stereotype like all gators roll that's what they, that's a technique that's what they do Hmm. I guess the question is... Either it's is, learned behavior when they little... I don't know. Why do all Mexicans like tamales? Is it gator culture? What is it? Was it, you know, it's all... Is it just cultural, right? That's what it, it goes back to. It might be culture. It's just a part of their culture. I don't know if it's in the DNA. It might just be cultural. Hmm. You know? But, I mean, think about whether... You know, I believe more in God than in, in simulation. I believe we're in a simulation. You believe in God and simulation? Yeah, because I believe God made the simulation. You know what I'm talking about? He's like Steve Jobs behind... He's, he's the supercomputer. So he's Morpheus. Man, you got to read Revelations, bro. Okay. But, but check it out. <laughs> He's Morpheus, yeah. Actually, no. Morpheus didn't create the simulation. Oh, no. The Oracle. Sorry. Yeah. Well, Oracle knew stuff. I don't think Oracle was the creator of it all. I think she just knew shit. She could just basically give you hints and kind of guide you. That sounds like somebody trying to be God without telling you they're God. In a way. It's, it's like she got the omniscient part down. There you go. And not the other part. But either or, the gators roll. And just think about it like... Back when they were prehistoric, because gators been around for millions of years. You got them. They're legit dinosaurs. Dinosaur gators, bro. They just got what smaller and shit. Weird though, right? Because they're still ginormous. And I wonder if they were rolling back then. They had at, to have. At what point did the roll come into play? Like, were there some? Maybe if you think about evolution and like Darwin and shit like that. At one point, there were two gator brothers. This is where the roll started. One, he didn't like the roll. He didn't really roll. That wasn't his thing. The other one got to rolling, and he was better chomping off shit, chomping off limbs, whatever. He was able to spread his offspring, his genetic thing. So now it becomes, uh, what's the word, man, from Darwinism? like uh, Evolution? Yeah, it's evolution, but it's almost like... Um, well, I'm, 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 I, I'm, I, I can't think of it. <laughs> whatever, basically, basically whatever it's almost like an attribute that is um, the result of one didn't really like rolling and he didn't eat as much and he couldn't provide as well and he didn't really pass his genes on and he, and that that trait. Trait. Okay, you know, el trait. It's that his little non-rolling trait didn't didn't catch. Whereas the ones that were rolling was eating. I'm, okay, I mm, what a what a stretch that was. I'm gonna give you my my thoughts. Okay, they got me. little little bitty ass arms, little okay. legs, Bet. but they have like a snake like strong body. So when they catch something with that big ass mouth, they really can't run anywhere very fast if they're kind of like half in the water, half on the shore. So they're gonna chomp on it, take the little bitty ass legs, kind of just tuck them in and just roll them. And then that way they secure their food. So they know they're going to eat that way. So then it just became ingrained in the, okay. in the DNA of so the you're gator. Saying, you're saying by proxy of them being all core. Yes. Because they're all core. Exactly. But then if that's the case, why wouldn't they just do this? They do do that. Yeah, they, they do. They start that way. Yeah, first they go. And then they roll. And if that shit don't work, boom, boom roll your bitch ass. Game over. Sass. And the crocodiles, they roll too. Yeah, do they? Yeah. They're even bigger. Crocs are but bigger. But they roll as well. Yes, yes. So at some point... 
before the shit branched off from gators and crocs, them motherfuckers had a common ancestor, bro. Yeah, it was whatever dinosaur it was. And then maybe one migrated to a different region, different type of yeah, weather. Yeah, salt water versus, you know. Fresh. Yeah. Well, shit gets brackish. <laughs> Ain't that a word? You just throwing... Is that a word? I have no idea. Yeah, bro, check this out. Y'all fact check me, but we were in Costa Rica one time, right? Check this out. Not only did we see gators when we went on this little... Um, see, Costa Ricans are slick. Let me just back up on this. All right. Well, we were staying in Costa Rica. They're big on tourism. And you'll eat at a little hole-in-the-wall restaurant, but the waiter will speak six, seven languages. Real talk. They yep. speak Russian, German, because there's a lot of tourists. Okay. So they speak in Chinese, Hebrew, Spanish, everything. And they hustle you. So while they're taking the order, they're like, oh, so I see you got kids. What y'all doing tomorrow? I want to see some monkeys? And then they hit their homeboy up. Hey, man, I got, I, I, I got these people, man. Just help me show them some monkeys. We ain't seen not one damn monkey. We paid for this trip. <laughs> and then uh, homeboy's like, y'all want to see, y'all want to go on a little gator ride? And we're like, uh, I don't know, man. It sounds suspicious. And they're like, no, nah, no, nah, it's legit. It's through the state park. It's like an area where it's cool. It's cool. You know, they do it all the time. These motherfuckers, they had no uniforms. They look like they just rolled out of bed. They got like little collar shirt. Like they just whatever. We had to sit in lawn chairs on the boat. It's like a little, it's not a canoe. What are you doing? And it's not a raft. And it was like my mom, uh, Mickey was there. She was little. My, my, my wife, she was my girl at the time. My sister, a couple of nephews and shit. We went down there. It was really fun. So we're on this makeshift boat. There's like lawn chairs on that bitch. And you got these dudes. They're not even state park officials. They ain't got nothing. They're just Costa Ricans. And we're going down this murky ass water. And they're pointing out gators. Some seem like they were planted. Some were not too sure. Like, is that even alive? Is that even a gator? Like, are we getting screwed on our tour? But you'd see some on the like beach, basically, shore, right? Anyway, that was kind of sketchy. Because he tried to pull up on them just to like make it more fun. This is where it really got interesting. I think the next day we went to the beach, right? It looks like Galveston water. And there's a little area where they tell you like, oh, that's where fresh water meets the salt water. And it's brackish, I believe is the word. It's like a mix. It's kind of like, it's where it's meeting up. That's where they tell the surfers not to go. Because it's a lot of Americans that like to go down there and surf. Well, lo and behold, somebody lost a leg that day. Um, it was a dude from Arizona. He was, not, I think, uh, I think it was a youngster or it might have been a dad, but basically he was out there on vacation, wanted to serve, got too close to the brackish gator biting your ass near the beach, near the ocean. Rob, do you ever see gators near the beach or the ocean? I don't think so. No, that's not what gators be. But this motherfucker got close to the brackish where the fresh water. And this little gator was like, man, I know I'm supposed to be over here with the fresh. Ooh, it's salty over there. Ooh, it's salty. And he went over there, fuck it. And ash, ash. Holy shit. Yeah, bro. I'm still, I'm still amazed that you were actually on this boat in lawn chairs. Yeah, I've done. It reminds me of when they took us on the uh, border tour where I thought it was going to be <laughs> questionable. Where I thought it was going to be customs and border patrol giving you a life jacket and you know giving you a ride along yeah but that's not what happened that time either you got lucky it's another story for another day it is good shit so the moral of the story is man is when you when you're chomping on your dreams and you and you're doing this and the motherfucker don't give you're gonna get dizzy when you do that that's gonna it rattles your brain but you don't give up man you gotta you gotta remember man you got little arms but you all core and you gotta roll these motherfuckers what a way to spin it into a positive message. See what yeah, I did there? Roll it into it. something. You gotta roll. Don't, 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 don't get discouraged. You gotta eat your food. You got a family to feed. Remember, you got little arms, but you are all core. So really, I'm on the team Gator. She should have been, she, bitch, you going up against evolution, God, nature, and you over here being naive and stupid, mm. not being safe. As much as I love Darth Gator, the name, I mean, I got to say, you just, you got to take it out. I'm with the lady. You know, she was, she was like trying to love all of God's creatures and God's creatures just turned his back on her. Yeah, but God, you know, God don't, God don't like ugly. <laughs> she looked pretty cute. Not you after know. this incident, but. God don't make mistakes, right? Well, that's also for another episode. It's like texting and driving, bro. It's like, come on, you sticking your little 
first of all, you got all kind of uh, Milanesa and chicken juice all on your hand, and you you waving it all near the gator's nose. What you think? Think gators can't smell? That's a good point. That's a good point. That's how you get your bitch ass rolled. <laughs> So get out of line, and some of these goons, some of these gators, gonna chop down on you, and we roll. We not like the other gators that didn't evolve and didn't survive. We passing on traits. All right, you yeah, win. That's you what's win. up. So this RPT shorts. If you have any clips on the internet, things you want us to react to, send it on over redpiltamilis at gmail dot com. Hit us up patreon dot com forward slash redpiltamilis. You can get all the shows, all the premium content, the whole enchilada. Sass.